Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so Botox. Yes, the same stuff that can get rid of migraines and wrinkles, it can also help in stroke recovery. So, as you know, that when you have a stroke, part of the brain is damaged, and the control signals that go to the muscles can be damaged as well. And when that happens, something called spasticity can occur in the well, for me, I'm going to talk about my arm, but it can become overactive and the muscles can become stiff. So they inject Botox into specific muscles to kind of like deaden the nerves, start kind of. And so it reduces that spasticity, that overacting. And that's what I had done, is I had some Botox put into my arm, uh, a couple places in here, three spots, and it that area is to help my wrist action kind of improve. There are things that you can do to help the Botox help you, and the first thing that you have to have to do is use electrical stimulation. The Botox is helping the muscles not be as active so they can actually move without that stiffness tighten them up and so the muscle memory is then able to happen because you can do the movement and so eSIM is the best thing that you can do along with occupational therapy or PT depending on uh, where you're getting the, the injections but the stimulation is that repetitive motion and it is using that muscle memory it's tapping into that neuroplasticity that we are trying to make happen so i just had my six week checkup and we're actually going to reduce the amount of botox that he put in my arm because while reducing the overactive muscle is the good part of Botox for stroke recovery, there is a bad side. And for me, I lost motion in this direction. So I once was able to do a wrist curl with a three pound weight, I can't even curl just my hand now. So this is the, the downside to Botox. It's just, a give and take with the amount of Botox that gets injected, where it gets injected, and the neurologist just, it's a trial and error, just like everything with stroke recovery. It's a trial and error. We have to find what works for us, and so this is my experience with Botox so far. I have my third round coming up in six weeks. The peak performance that gives you the best chances, the improved range of motion and strength, and the ability to use it is about six weeks from the initial injection. And so every 12 weeks, you can repeat the process. So in six weeks, I'll go again and I'll repeat the process and I'll keep you guys updated. So I'm actually gonna link to a video that helps with range of motion of your wrist. So I'll see you in the next one.